Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick little video. <clears throat> right now, I'm actually at um, the hospital, ready to get an MRI. As many of you guys know, I've been struggling with like knee pain, chronic knee pain in elbow. But today's MRI is actually going to be for my knee. Oh man, you don't even know. I've been like, this is the day that I've been waiting for for a long, long time. I need to know what's going on so I can get back to being me again. <laughs> Anyways, um, I will post... <clears throat> my little adventure <laughs> get it back and ride see you guys it is so empty here so this is the brace that I've been wearing it doesn't help me that much it just doesn't really fit me. Alright, so I've been dealing with this. I'm going back. Oh my god, look at this mask. I don't even think I have it on right. But, um,. I've been dealing with this for over like six months now. Literally, like I've been having joint pain for I want to say maybe like a few years now, and they think that it has to do with like my uh, my autoimmune disease. But who knows? Um, I am happy that I am here because this is like one of the things that I've been dying to get done for a really long time, and I'm happy that it's finally getting done. So we can kind of come like figure out what's wrong with me. I can get back to being me again. And that's one of the biggest things that I've been craving is to get back into the gym, hit, you know, hit that gym harder than ever. Because you know what? I'm going to be honest. I gained eight pounds in the past two weeks because I've been so stressed out and I've been in my head, but also because of my lupus flare up. So I've been dealing with that and hopefully we can kind of move on and um, yeah, just getting this done and such. And yeah, I'm just hoping that we can... I can get back to the normal, what normal means, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the first time I actually get an MRI done. Um, I've never had one done before. I've had x-rays and such like that, but this is like the first time ever that I've had an, uh, an MRI. And it's just, I'm curious, I'm curious to see. Keep you guys updated. Just messy hair. Just got out of the MRI. Oh, really excited. I get my results by the end of the week. All right. So I'm out of the elevator, going to the parking lot. Um, but yeah, it wasn't so bad. I'm gonna go over the how it all went. I remember my grandmother, she always said that she, they always have to kind of like sedate her uh, when she got it done. But this wasn't so bad. It really wasn't. Um, they said it takes about half hour, but it actually, it was pretty much faster than, a, pretty much, um, it was pretty quick in comparison, put it that way. Um, the way that... Um, it worked is you know they checked me and um i ended up going in and uh they asked me some questions as to you know why am i getting the mri um was it an injury uh and then uh, i think they asked me if i had any surgeries and i had a tonsillectomy adenectomy um i had proof of lepin like years and years ago um i had in a c-section so c-sections are considered surgery because they do need to open you up and whatever um and yeah i think that's pretty much the gist of uh the gist of the um the surgeries and then um they tell me you know here's um go to the lockers um grab a locker put your stuff in there and um take the key so it's like a little key um chain and you put it around your wrist then they go when you're done just walk you know walk uh yourself over to the room 
and we'll walk you in. So I get, um, I go, well, to the hallway. So I got to the hallway. I ended up going to, um, oh, to the, to the lady, uh, she pressed the button, the two doors opened up. I saw the machine and my first impression was, holy shit, uh, I don't know. Cause you know, I always went by what my grandmother used to tell me. Like she was always petrified cause she was claustrophobic. And I was like, oh my God, like this is insane. But it's really not a big deal. So the crazy, crazy thing is, was when I was in there, I literally like, at first I was like, oh shit, if I move, like, you know, what's gonna happen? Like, so the lady was like, you know, um, we're gonna set you up, uh, da, 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 da. I went, sure. So they put me on, they had like these little wedges to keep my foot from like not moving I mean you can move it it's not like you're kind of like stuck or restricted but um it's kind of like a brace that so you kind of like put your feet on and keep it you know it keeps it from going this way or whatever um so then they get me in there and they ask me do you want a warm blanket and I went um no actually how long is this gonna be and they were like half hour I'm like yeah actually I I'll take the blanket and as soon as they gave me the hot warm blankets I literally like my whole my legs I felt my toes like defrosting it was like hilarious so then they put me in there and they go okay we're gonna um give you some headphones they put me give me some headphones and um actually some earplugs and then some headphones and I'm like how am I gonna hear the music with earplugs but it I guess uh, it worked because I heard the music and then the the funny thing is that oh and they also give you kind of like a call button just in case like if there's an emergency you just have to press the button so um after I got that um after like they put me in up to my shoulders and um the machine uh they go okay we're gonna um get started uh and you're gonna hear me talk so she went back to the room um I think it's like behind a glass and she told me, um, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing great. And she goes, okay, we're gonna start. So the first one they started, and um, I heard the noise go, like it was like a real, like a loud um, dryer sound, but like that's grinding. And I was like, what? Okay, like at first I was like a little bit, I wasn't too sure. And I was like, oh God, grandma, please be with me. This is like, I, I don't know, I don't know about this. So then, um, so then a minute passed and then she spoke to me. She goes, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing great. And then she goes, okay, now we're going to do, um, four minutes. I think it was. And by this point I was like, okay, I got this, you know, um, I was just kind of chilling with the music. Oh, and they do ask what kind of music that you want to hear. And I was like, uh, at first I was like, damn, I want dance hall, but do you think they'll have dance halls? So I was like, I'll just take hip hop, you know? I love dance hall. Like I'm all about that. Oh, either dance hall or reggaeton, but I really like my dance hall. Um, so then um, I ended up um, about. Let's see. They did. Then they told me five minutes, and then the last, the second to last one was six minutes. And then they were like, "Okay, we got five more minutes or something along those lines." I know that it was like the last one. Um, I literally dozed off because um, the sound of like mm, like the humming noise is what gets me to sleep. So literally I dozed off in a freaking MRI machine. And all of a sudden I felt my body saying, wake up. And I kind of went like, I got scared, like, and I woke up and I moved my leg, but it wasn't enough to cause the, you know, the, the whole MRI to kind of, um, get off whack. So I was fine. It was just kind of like, almost like a, my, my, uh, my my foot my foot kind of moved a little bit but it was fine my knee was in place um but yeah the experience was great like i honestly i don't i mean uh, it, it's not it doesn't bother me like i'm not claustrophobic and i don't even feel that it's as bad as people sometimes feel like think you know all you have to do is be like the machine's literally just like a hole and you're out I think I can see where people have that problem where they're in the machine completely. I mean, I was up to my shoulders, so I was pretty much the whole, my whole body. Um, the only thing is it was my head. My head was the only one that was kind of like outside of the, um, that little machine. So I guess that's the only thing that, um, uh, wasn't so bad, 
Um, I don't know what others feel when you're fully in the machine. Um, maybe that was the, way, the problem that my grandmother had. She actually was inside the machine completely. Um, and I think it was like an MRI scan that she had to do for her head um, or something like that. And I know one of them, and I remember it clearly because, what, well, I'm not sure whether if it was before her breast cancer or after her breast cancer. Um, and I know that they did one for her dementia. I'm not 100% sure, but I remember going to so many appointments with her and one of them, she had to get her MRI. And when they scheduled her MRI, I remember talking to the, the people. I was like, you gotta make sure, or the doctor, you, you know, she needs medication. Like she needs to be sedated because she, she can't do that. So I, oh my God. So this kind of like took me back years when, you know, she actually was petrified about, you know, getting the MRI and she prefers not to get an MRI. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this experience with you. Hopefully, uh, well, according to them, they said that I will be getting my results. Um, I would say sometime, um, sometime in the beginning of the, the, the week. So I'm, I have my fingers crossed because you know that tear that they found in the x-ray in my knee i think it was on my kneecap i really hope they tell me that all i need to do is rest and heal and let my body kind of like take care of itself because i'm all about um i don't know if it's holistic healing or whatever the thing is but i like to heal on my own i do not like surgeries i honestly like i prefer to do everything myself i do not like medication so it's like you know one of those things so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching i will keep you updated as to what the results are and what's next so yes on that note guys thank you so much for watching mwah, 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 mwah.